Right, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Become a Legend with Mesut Ozil right here on PES 2021. Absolutely fantastic support for the first episode, lots of positive comments, uh, happy to see you guys enjoying it and I'm happy to be doing a second episode on this series. It was a pretty decent first episode, uh, didn't get any assists or wins for Arsenal but uh, we have a big game a few big games in this episode so hoping we can get an assist for Mesut Ozil and uh, win back uh, the faith of Mikel Arteta to keep playing us in his side. But before we begin today's episode if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If we can get up to 50 likes for this episode that would be absolutely fantastic. And of course don't forget to follow my Facebook gaming page called Zulfa Streams where I'll be streaming some Master League, my club on Pro Evolution Soccer, as well as maybe adding a bit of a career mode, manager career mode that is, on FIFA 21. But yeah man, let's just jump straight into this episode. We've got Liverpool in the uh, Community Shield, we've got Everton at home, and then West Bromwich Albion away. Conflict of interest there, Zulfa, Zulfa's club there, dear and uh, beloved club, uh, West Bromwich Albion. But uh, let's just go ahead, next match, I think we are selected for the side, there we go. Take a look at the sides we got uh, for Liverpool, Mane, Roberto Firmino, Salah, Thiago, Fabinho, Henderson, Van Dijk, uh, Robertson, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Alisson in goal. Uh, for Arsenal, Williams playing as a false nine I believe, Pepe on the right, Aubameyang on the left, Partey, Ceballos and Ozil. In midfield, Mustafi, David Luiz, Bellerin, Kieran Tierney in defense and Bernd Leno in goal. No uh, William Saliba, no Lacazette, no Granit Xhaka. I think that might be our strongest side, you know, but I'm not sure if I see Gabriel as well. Gabriel, uh, uh, our new centre-back, maybe he's injured. I'm not sure there, but... Um, oh, there he is. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't see him. Apologies there, but he's in the reserves. He's not even in the uh, on the bench. This is a shame because he's probably our best player so far this season. But I'm hoping that we can get, you know, some silverware to start off the season before the league campaign begins. Uh, we'll keep with the uh, kits, I think. But yeah, hoping uh, to get a good start in this episode. The curtain raiser for the Premier League season. It's Liverpool against Arsenal at Wembley in the FA Community Shield. Aubameyang leads inside for us tonight with Jordan Henderson leading Liverpool down the tunnel. Mesut Ozil getting a rare start under Mikel Arteta. So far he's played every pre-season game but has not played a full 90 minutes yet. Can he do that tonight? We shall wait and see. But uh, Arsenal looking to add some silverware uh, before the season begins. As I mentioned previously, got the support right there in the stadium. Absolutely fantastic. Wembley looks really, really good. Not gonna lie to you. As uh, we get kickoff underway. Partey, Ozil. Great ball for Kieran Tierney. What a ball by Mesut. Aubameyang. Aubameyang to Willian. William with a strike, and there's the first goal! What a goal that is! Early on, in the seventh minute, William puts Arsenal ahead at Wembley. We just love Wembley. Absolutely fantastic, man. Our record at Wembley in recent years has been absolutely ridiculous. Urza with a lovely ball for Kieran Tierney to open up the space on the left side. Good play on the left side here between Tierney and Aubameyang. Aubameyang just about feeds the ball to Willian and that is a fantastic finish. An experienced finish from the Brazilian and it's 1-0 to the Gunners. Great start. Uh-oh, chance here. Firmino, don't let him turn. Firmino, good save by Bernalino. Urza wins the ball back and it's a good turn towards Ceballos. Good pass that time. Willian. Aubameyang on the left side here. He's got Urzel in support. Urza with the cross towards Pepe! Oh man, the bicycle kick. Just couldn't pull it off in the end. But again, Urzil involved in the build-up of that chance. Good cross by Urzil that time around. And Pepe just couldn't keep it down. Another good chance there for Arsenal. Urzil sees Willian on the left side here. Pepe arriving in the centre. Willian towards Pepe! And again he's missed. 
And again he's missed. Come on Nico. Need to do better there. Good ball by Ozil to find Willian on this left side once again. The ball into the box. And Nicola Pepe. Two great opportunities for him to get on the score sheet. Remains 1-0. Alexander Arnold crosses it in. Good chance for Minia. Great save by Bernd Leno again. Oh, look at the space for Mane. Look at the space for Mane. He's missed it. Oh my god, dude. The space for Mane is absolutely massive, dude. Don't know what Bellerin was doing there. And David Luiz as well. Late to cover the gaps. Mane again. Partey. Ozil. Ceballos. Willian. This is good stuff from Arsenal. Ozil, great ball for Aubameyang. Aubameyang, come on, man. Van Dijk just brushed you off so easily. Ozil. Good stuff here. Ozil with a strike. Tierney. Come on, man. Oh, I need to put in a better cross that time. Ozil. Pepe. Aubameyang, Willian. Arte, this is a great play. Bellerin. Oh, Ozo was calling for the ball on the edge of the area. A referee will blow his whistle for half time. Decent start for the Gunners in that first half. William got the goal. Ozo involved in the build up with a brilliant ball to Kieran Tierney. But uh, Liverpool have been the slightly better side, I want to say. 51% possession, five shots, three on target. We've had our fair share of opportunities to get that second goal. So hopefully that happens in the second half. Oh, chance here for Firmino. Partey get there. Thank you. Oh my God. What the hell, David Luiz? What are you doing? Oh my goodness me. That was absolutely ridiculous. Uh-oh. Chance here. Henderson. Mane. Oh, David Luiz got there in time. In defending that time from the Brazilian. Liverpool get themselves another corner. Ozil is in the box to defend. Alexander Arnold will take the header. Oh my god. It's open for anyone there. Three corners with you. Pepe. Ozil has him for support. It's not a bad ball by Pepe. Ozil will get there. It is Mesut Ozil. It's still Ozil. Cross for Aubameyang. What are you doing, Oba? All you gotta do is just stick a foot in. Salah. Mane. Liverpool. Chasing for the equaliser, Firmino. It's Firmino. Again, a good save by Bernd Leno. Chance still there. Dude, dude, don't slide in, please. Tierney, please, I beg. Henderson. Just can't get the ball out at the moment. Arte, win that, please. Thank you very much. Ozil trying to find Aubameyang. Oh, the idea was nice. Bellerin will keep it alive, I think. No, we'll take the throw. Is it our throw in? I think it might be our throw in, not sure, as Liverpool make a change. Yes, it is our throw in. Pepe. Ozil. Towards Aubameyang. Strike it, my man, please. Oh, my God. Straight at Addison. Again, Ozil finding himself some decent space at the edge of the area. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Ceballos, please. Salah. It's not happening for him. Mustafi complaining for some reason. Just one simple ball by Allison. Partey couldn't get to that. Firmino all over the top, outside the foot. And Salah had much, much more time than he thought. It's the side netting in the end. Ozil is still in the game, which is always good to see. He's uh, running on empty. Pepe. Willian. He's onside, Willian. Come on, Willian. Too much, too much. Just keep it simple, man. Just keep it simple. Now Liverpool can break. It's Van Dijk out of all people. And again, Bernd Leno with the save. Van Dijk playing as an extra front man right now. Ozil. He sees Nicola Pepe. Get there, Pepe. Oh, oh that, was, that was dangerous. That was dangerous. That could be a red, you know. It's just a yellow for uh, Andrew Robertson. He was uh, struggling to get back there. He got the ball first, though, so I'm not too sure about that. Oxley chamberlain great ball for Mane. Liverpool might get the equaliser here. Oh, and it's just past Salah. What are you doing, Jacker? Get the ball, man. Aubameyang. 
Ozil. Sees Obama Yang. Now we can break. Obama Yang. Again, it's not enough for Pepe to get to. Ozil win that. Lovely stuff, Mesut. That's what you want to see in the 90th minute. I know you're running on empty. It's Ozil towards Obama Yang. That was a poor pass. That was a poor pass. That could cost us. Get there, party. Thank you. We'll keep this alive. Come on, boys. Crossfield ball. Ceballos. Ozil, look at the space for Willian. Strike it. Ref, that's got to be a free kick. We'll take that all day long. We'll take that all day long. Looks like we are going to get the community shield. Would be a great, great win. Massive win. Morale booster for the Gunners. If you manage to get this, Willian. Take a strike, my man. Why not have a go? Aubameyang. Shaka. Ozil. Towards Willian. Chance. It's Ozil. Oh, he's at the post. Pepe. Oh, my God. What a goal that would have been. But in the end, Arsenal will claim the FA Community Shield against league champions Liverpool. Got the full 90 minutes as well. Decent performance by Mesut Ozil. Liverpool players down and out. There we go. Mesut Ozil absolutely delighted with that victory. Had a pretty good game, man. Could have scored at the end there. Hit the post as well. There we go. Some celebrations with the fans. For the fans. Aubameyang. Leading his side to victory. There we go. Mesut Ozil showing a bit of appreciation for his captain. Could be a decent season for us, man. Not going to lie to you. We played much, much better in that second half. Liverpool just couldn't convert their chances. Man of the match was Willian. Ozil got a 6.5. Not bad at all. One of the more better players on the pitch for Arsenal. But yeah, awesome start to the episode. So after four appearances, we are still looking for our first assist and first goal of the season. But uh, I believe that it will come uh, sooner rather than later. Should we see? Okay, so for the Germany national team squad announcement, we have been selected, even though technically in real life you have retired from the German national football team. But I mean, with talent like yours, was there even a chance they wouldn't pick you? Star for his club and now future star for Germany. Go make us proud, fella. Don't know about that, man. I'm kind of retired from the international game, not gonna lie to you. But uh, yeah, man, good, uh, good start to the episode, not gonna lie. So awesome stuff, Arteta has selected us for the first game of the Premier League at centre mid. So uh, yeah man, he's putting his faith in us, which is absolutely great to see. Um, let's take a look at the game plan. Uh, we've got Nketiah starting up top, no Aubameyang. Aubameyang not even in the squad whatsoever. Willian on the left, Pepe on the right, Ozil, Xhaka and Ceballos in midfield. Socrates is captain, what the hell is going on here man? Um, no Gabriel still, no uh, Saka, no Lacazette, uh, Everton have got uh, Tosin up top, no Richardson or Cavalou in starting, which is uh, pretty odd. Um, Andre Gomez on the bench as well, James Rodriguez starts with them, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping we can get uh, our first three points against Everton. Take a look at the strips, maybe we'll change a bit for Everton. We can go with the light blue for them, I think, yeah, that's fine, but yeah, looking to get our first point on the board in the Premier League. So Premier League match day number one, we are at the Emirates, it's Arsenal against Everton. Another conflict of interest there with Zorfa playing for Everton in FIFA. And I just hate that team so much, I hate the coach, I hate Carlo Ancelotti not getting any game time. So uh, man, I hope we beat them, not gonna lie to you, I hope Arsenal beat them, I hope Ozil has a stormer of a game. I don't know why Socrates has been given the captaincy for this season. But uh, let's just get kickoff underway. Chambers. Ozil. Oh man, Ozil is asking for the ball back. Finds Ceballos. Glazanac. Where are you going, man? Willian. Good stuff. Great stuff. Willian. There's the first goal. And we get our first assist of the season. 1-2, bit of play, and William is off to a great start in his Arsenal career, not going to lie to you, Ertel delighted to get his first assist off the season as well, great play man, take a look at it one more time, Glazanac on the left here, 
William with the back heel. There's all the one time pass. And that's a great finish by William. Awesome stuff. Great start. 1 0 to the Gunners. James Rodriguez don't let him put a cross in on his left foot. Will let him take a strike as well. James, the kill rate. This is good from Everton. Coleman crosses it in. David Luiz get there. Thank you very much. Back towards James. Not cleared away. In the end, Pepe will gather. Now we break. Ertil. And Ketia. Ertil finding Willian. Willian. Back towards Ozil, not the best of balls, back from Willian that time. Ozil, great take and great turn. Willian, Ozil, oh man, Jerry Mina just got there in time. Heavy touch from Ozil. Ozil, finding Nketiah. Back to Ozil, referee, give me a free kick please. We'll take that all day long, thank you. Ozil, strength, play back. Jacka. Pepe. Oh, the ball by Chambers is not a good one. Half time approaching. Looks like uh, we'll take the 1 0 lead going into the break. Ozil getting his first assist this season. Assisting uh, William with a great finish near post past Pickford. But uh, we've had been the much better side. Not a lot of clear cut opportunities. 59% possession, two shots, one on target. But hoping uh, for. Uh, Improvement and maybe getting another goal or two in the second half. Ozil, good ball for William. William over the top for Nketia. Just couldn't get there. Get to win that, please. I just couldn't keep it. Just couldn't keep it alive. Ozil, great ball for Nketia. Go, my man. Go shoot it, please. Nketia. Oh my god, this clown. Could have gone another assist right there. How about this for a pass on Mesut Ozil? I have the needle stuff there. And Nketiah, you just gotta... Just gotta hit the target, man. Just gotta hit the target. Ozil. Back to Willian. Back to Nketiah. Nketiah! Oh, almost fell for Ozil that time. Chance! And there's the second. No offside given. And finally, Nketiah gets one right. Willian with the assist this time around. Great play between the front three as per usual. And it's Arsenal 2. Everton 0. Take a look at this goal, I swear to God. And Ketia was offside. It's a great, good first strike there. Not cleared away properly. And somehow, I think Michael Keane might have kept him onside there. And it's 2 0 to the Gunners. Ozil. Good play. Kalazinac. Ozil, the cross for Pepe. Oh my God, it was in Ketia actually. It's a similar opportunity that uh, we created. In the uh, community shield, another bicycle kick this time around. And Ketia this time just again couldn't hit the target. Good chance though. Richarlison. Richarlison! Again, Burnt Leno caught off guard a bit that time around. Had to make the save. Everton been relatively quiet the second half. Richarlison coming on for Cheng Tosin. The ball was dipping. It's a good save in the end by Burnt Leno. Klasenac, Ozil, great take. Ozil. Ceballos. Back towards Ozil. Partey. Ozil. Back towards Ozil. Willian. Good save by Pickford. Ref. Late, late challenge by Gabamine. Partey. Ozil. Still got some energy about him. Ref, come on, there's got to be a free kick in there, surely. Oh my goodness me, here's Calvert Lewin. Two minutes of stoppage time. Good challenge, good challenge. And we break, can we get a third maybe? Ozil, heavy touch. Mina got to that first. This should be us, three points in the bag. Cleared away, let's just not concede very, very stupidly in the last minute or so. Crosses it in by Bernard. Richarlison couldn't get there. And referee blows his whistle for full time. And that is how you kick off your Premier League season. Awesome stuff. Got our first assist on the board as well. William taking off his shirt there. Absolutely fantastic animation. Good job, Konami. And Ketia getting the second in the second half as well. So 
decent squad performance there. William has been absolutely superb for us so far at the start of the season. Much a better side, 58% possession, 7 shots, 4 on target. Man of the match was William, but Ozil got a 7.0 rating, so uh, decent stuff. Let's take a look at match day number one results across uh, the league. Brighton beating West Brom 4-2. Manchester United winning against Leeds 1-0. Chelsea winning against four, uh, Chelsea winning against West Ham, I should say, 4-1. Crystal Palace winning against Sheffield. Fulham drawing against Newcastle. Man City winning against Liverpool. Not the best of starts for Liverpool so far this season. Spurs winning against Burnley. Wolves taking all three points against Southampton and Leicester winning 4-1 at Aston Villa. Take a look at the league table after match day number one. We are currently four spots with a bunch of uh, other other teams as, uh, as expected. Bottom three is Southampton, West Ham and Aston Villa. After five appearances, Mesut Ozil has uh, an average rating of 6.4, not bad at all. An assist, uh, assist so far is one, no goals yet, but uh, yeah, good stuff, man, good stuff. So awesome stuff once again, Arteta. Uh, putting us in the starting lineup at center mid. Awesome stuff. Uh, last game of the episode, unfortunately, guys. But uh, let's go to training and see. Uh, we've got two days remaining of uh, the center mid position, which is pretty decent. Uh, we'll increase our stamina. I think I'm going to do that. Strength, uh, speed, we don't need. Defense, we don't need. We'll increase our stamina to max. So uh, I'm fine with that. Uh, we got two more focus points. Can we complete the training now? Um, you know what? It doesn't make much of a difference. We'll increase in defense. We'll uh, we'll increase in speed, and we'll increase in strength. So I'm fine with that. But let's just move on straight into the last game of the episode. Is against our favorite side, West Bromwich Albion. Got the likes of Matthias Pereira, uh, Matt Phillips. Um, uh, who else have we got? Grasicki, you know, all the all, all the usual suspects, of course. Bartley, always nice to see them uh, uh, in the game, as per usual. But we've got Nicola Pepe playing up top for some weird reason. William on the right, Aubameyang on the left, back in the side after an absence in the last game. Ozil, Jacket, and Ceballos in midfield. Mustafi, David Luiz, Kieran Tierney, Callum Chambers in defense, and Bent Leno in goal. No Hector Bellerin, no Gabriel. Um, no Alex Lacazette as well, no Thomas Partey, so a few odd odd uh, decisions by Mikel Arteta, but we're focusing on Mesut Ozil, as long as he's getting the nod, we are good to go. But uh, we'll go with the red and white, I think our home kit for this last game, so hoping we can get 6 points out of 6 uh, to end off the episode, we should wait and see. Match day number 2 in the Premier League. We are at the Hawthorns. It's West Bromwich Albion who host Arsenal. Winning 2-0 in that first game against Everton. His Zulfa's favourite team up against uh, Zulfa's favourite team in real life. So a conflict of interest perhaps for me in this game. We should wait and see what happens. Let's just get kickoff underway. Ozil Sees Willian, strike it my man, Willian, oh was just about to pull the trigger as well, was just about to pull the trigger. He's got Ceballos in support, Aubameyang, Pepe, back to Ozil, Tierney, Aubameyang with the strike, just couldn't generate enough power behind it. Phillips, look at Matthias Pereira, it's Matthias Pereira, oh my goodness me, a shove at the back, I think it was from Xhaka, who put him off. But here come Arsenal now. Willian. Chambers. Ozil. Aubameyang. Back to Ozil. Oh, Willian got in my way. Willian got in my way. Oh my goodness me. What the hell, man. Brilliant stuff. Pepe, you're through. Pepe, you're through. Take a strike. There we go. 1-0 to the Gunners. Finally, Nicola Pepe gets on the score sheet. Centre forward, you know. Might not be... Might not be... Uh, a decent shout for him in real life. Brilliant play by Ozil. Once again, involved in the build-up of Bamyang. Through ball. Had enough strength to beat uh, Branislav Ivanovic, I believe that was. And it's 1-0 to Arsenal. Good start. Oh my god, chance for Matthias Pereira. And he scores! Dude, this guy is absolutely amazing. Even in this Become a Legend series, he's been absolutely phenomenal. What is going on? That's why I love this team. 
That's why it's hard for me to move out of West Brom Champion. Oh my goodness me, Ben Leno is not happy at all. I don't know what David Luiz is doing there. Maybe Mesut Ozil should have closed Jake Livermore down there. Maybe a hint of offside perhaps? I don't know what Mustafi and uh, David Luiz were doing there. It's one all now. Ozil. Chambers. Willian. Back to Ozil. Ozil! Oh my god. How did that now go in? It's a corner for the Gunners. Maybe the easy option was to pass to Aubameyang. Again, Willian and Ozil combining. Ozil went for goal. Cleared away. Ozil will take the corner. So we put in a good ball. It's not a bad one. Phillips, look at the space he's got to put in a cross. Phillips. Up against the Bios. Chance for Robinson. Great save by Leno. Could have been 2-1 for West Brom there. Pepe. Willian. Ozil. Pepe again. Ozil. Towards Aubameyang. Back towards Ozil. Good save. Good save by the goalkeeper. Arsenal are dangerous when they counter. Ozil again getting a shot on target. Comfortable enough save for the goalkeeper in the end. Get ourselves another corner. Ozil. Good chance! And there's another goal for Willian. Another assist for us. Which is pretty, pretty decent. Not going to lie to you. But Willian start to the season. Let's talk about that for a second. He's been absolutely superb. Ozil. The low and hard cross to be quite honest with you. In the near post. Towards the near post I should say. And Willian was there first. Arsenal take the lead once again. 2-1 to the Gunners. Willian. Towards Pepe who is on side. Nicola Pepe. It's three. It's all falling apart for West Bromwich Albion right before half time. Nicola Pepe gets his second of the season, his second of the game. As our centre backs are celebrating that. Willian and uh, Pepe combining. What a ball that is by Willian. Inch perfect for Pepe. I think that's Pepe's best position, man. He has to play at centre forward. 3 1 now. The referee blows his whistle for half time. And uh, so far, so good. Three goals in that first half. Unfortunately, we did concede uh, for West Brom, uh, against West Brom. Uh, Matthias Pereira, out of all people, scoring for us. But we have been the much better side in terms of uh, taking our chances. Six shots, five on target. And uh, more of the same, please, in the second half. Ozil, Pepe, Aubameyang. Back towards Pepe for his hat trick. Nicola Pepe. Great save by the goalkeeper this time around. Ozil again involved in the counter attack. Good ball by Aubameyang. That touch by Ajay, I believe. Just put off Nicola Pepe. Do get ourselves another corner though. And said Ozil will take again. Corner towards David Luiz. Oh, wide in the end by the Brazilian. Decent enough delivery from Ozil. David Luiz just couldn't direct it towards goal. Remains 3-1. Charlie Austin. It's strength. It's Charlie Austin. Another good save by Bert Leno. What an introduction that would have been from the English striker. Simple ball by uh, the midfielder there. Not sure who that was, but Charlie Austin. Great bit of strength on target. But Bert Leno palms it away. Ozil. A bit of agility by him. Tierney. Aubameyang. Ozil. Ozil. There's the goal. He is not offside. And Mesut Ozil gets on the score sheet. Started the move as well in midfield. Let's take a look at this one more time. He wants to be involved in everything. Aubameyang, maybe a hint of a foul there. Pepe, great first time ball. How about that? One touch passing. And the finish by Ozil was absolutely sublime. Look at that layoff by Pepe. Side footed by Ozil. In the end, he gets the goal as a Socrates comes on for Callum Chambers. 
But Ozil, man, Ozil, absolutely fantastic performance by him today. So Joe Willock has come on for Mesut Ozil, which is uh, fair enough. We were actually running on empty. So a decent performance from Ozil. Got the assist, got one goal as well. Up for one. Couldn't ask for a much better performance from Ozil and the team. As we look to uh, see this one through. Let's see how the team does. About a minute left of the regular 90. Looks like Arsenal will be comfortable winners in the end. Three minutes added on. Awesome stuff from the boys in red. Comfortable performance in the second half as well. Ozil getting a goal and assist in this game. Could be awarded man of the match. I, I think it might go to Pepe or William though. We should wait and see. There we go. Nicola Pepe finally getting on the score sheet as the referee blows his whistle for full time. If only Ozil played like that in real life, maybe Mikel Arteta would pick him. West Brom had more possession. We had more shots and more shots on target. Man of the match was actually Nicola Pepe. Mesut Ozil got a 7.0 rating, so not bad at all. Match day number two results. Aston Villa beating Everton. Not a good start to the season for Everton. Leeds losing against Brighton. United using against West Ham. 4-1, my God. Chelsea winning against Crystal Palace. Newcastle losing against Sheffield. Man City winning against Fulham. Tottenham and Liverpool sharing the spoils in their game. Wolves winning 4-0 against Burnley. Leicester losing against Southampton. Here's how the standings look like. Wolves top of the table alongside Arsenal. Wolves still yet to concede. Uh, that's why they're top. Uh, bottom of the table is our Everton, West Brom and Burnley. So after six games, two games in the Premier League, one in the Community Shield, uh, Ozil has one goal and two assists with an average rating of 6.5. Not bad at all for a 32-year-old creative playmaker. So expanding your positional range after analysing your play in training and in matches, it's clear you've mastered the centre midfielder position. This evaluation is shared by the manager and myself. As we move forward, you can expect your position on the pitch to become more fluid according to the team's needs. So look forward to learning a new position in our formation. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Ozil doing his job uh, perfectly under Mikel Arteta so far. But we've got an interesting schedule ahead for the next episode. It's because we've got some international games coming up. Friendly match against Uruguay and a big one against uh, England. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Something different for Become a Legend since uh, Zofa has not yet reached international level. And then we've got uh, a Europa League a group stage match in number one against Sonderjaisk. Don't know how you pronounce that. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Absolutely butchered that for sure. But yeah, that is where I'm going to wrap up the episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the second episode of Become a Legend with Mesut Ozil. If you guys did enjoy that, please leave a like rating down below as per usual. And if you're new around here, why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as you'll be truly and greatly appreciated. Don't forget to check out Player Career Mode episode number 4 on the channel right now. And of course, don't forget to follow and like my Facebook gaming page called Zulfa Streams. I'll be playing Master League, My Club, Magic Career Mode on FIFA, all that good stuff uh, on a weekly basis when I stream on uh, Facebook Gaming. But thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of Become a Legend with Mr. Ozil because that was just too sweet. Hey.